Okay, I hear you. <laughs> why why am I waiting until now um, to choose my Altador team which when it's like right at the deadline? Well, you know, I just... <laughs> planning is my passion. <laughs> Let's leave it at that. So, okay, if you don't know... Altador, the Altador, what is that? 19 is coming up. Um, so I don't know anything about the Altador Cup. I know that you have to play like, is it Yu Yu Ball? That there, there is no, <laughs> there is no way it's said like that. But you have to play that, and apparently it's like some kind of sport, and this happens every year, and there's a bunch of different teams. So I don't know anything about this. Um, so I very much want your help in telling me what team I should join. If you say Kiko Lake, <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna be so mad at you. <laughs> don't, not really, but you know what I mean. Don't say Kiko Lake. <laughs> But we're going to go through and we're going to look at all the teams. Um, I'm going to tell you what I think of each team as somebody that knows nothing about the Outdoor Cup, nothing about sports, and nothing about nothing. So let's <laughs> let's just go. So there's a few different websites that you already know of that I found information on the Altador Cup, but some of them are a lot more helpful than others. So we'll, we'll look at them all and I'll link them all down below just in case. Um, the first one's obviously Jelly Neo. I mean, they always have everything. I so far I'm not a, I'm not a huge fan of what's going on over here because they do have some information, right? Like they've got this landing page for the Altador Cup that has like some of the information about it and they post like updates every single time something comes out. But I'm not finding a good place to like look at it, I don't, I'm not, like, where, where is a good place to look at all the teams? I'm not finding a great, a great thing of it. Like, there's a lot of information here. Like, we can see every single Altador Cup's, like, history here and, like, the winners and stuff like that. But I don't know. I just, I want, like, a snapshot of all the teams. And it seems really weird that they just don't have this. <laughs> this seems so weird to me. So I'm not going to use their site for this because if they have it i'm not easily able to find it so that sucks um the second one that i found was sunny neo i very rarely use sunny neo i i'm just not a fan i feel, I feel like it's always kind of like bare bones for the information which for some stuff it's fine but for the most part i'm not a huge fan um same thing they do have where you can actually like go back and look at the past altador cups um it looks like they only go back to three i don't know if that's true i'm not i'm not looking i'm not looking back that far i'm not trying to min max this <laughs> by any means because i did look on the subreddit um at some of the altador cup threads and apparently it's not about if your team wins or loses it's more about your actual participation in the event so you could be on a team that comes in dead last but if you participated the fuck out of it you'll get some good prizes so it's it's more about that the team's just more of a like so that you can buy outfits from the neo cash mall you know <laughs> you know but it means a lot to me <laughs> so so we're doing a whole fucking video on it um i do like that sunny neo has like a tiny little bit about all of the teams on here so that's kind of nice uh but again it's not a ton of information it's not a ton of information but the site that I found that has the most information for what I'm looking for is the daily Neopets. I, again, I'm not, I don't really use them. I use Jelly Neo for all of my dailies, but daily Neopets does come in second for any time I need Neopets information. I used to use the daily Neopets when I um, had my old account that I don't have access to anymore. Um, I used to use daily Neopets, so I'm a little biased, just a little bit, but they, they have a lot of good information. They have so where you can click on every single like team and get some information on them, the players, where they placed. So props to y'all, 100%. This is what I was kind of looking for. So we're going to go through every single team in alphabetical order because that's how it is. <laughs> and I guess after this, at the end, uh, I'll just let you tell me who I'm going to be with because I don't fucking care at the end of the day. Uh, even if you choose Kiko, like, I don't give a shit, but you got to pretend like you do because you're on the internet, you know? <laughs> you know? So, okay. So let's go through all of them. So Altador is first, which Altador is where it's at. So you would think they would be the best team, right? 
I don't know, but it says being the namesake of the cup hasn't worked in favor for this team thanks to the unrealistic expectations that come with sharing the name of the tournament. Okay, mood. I support that. Team Altidore has been relegated. I don't. I don't know what that. <laughs> I don't know what that word is. <laughs> to being the underdogs and has regularly delivered average or even below par performances. Okay. Okay, dang. <laughs> However, this never stops their drive. They're often seen continuing to train in the stadium despite, despite being covered in sweat and sunburns. Okay, cute. Um, I kind of, that, that seems really gross. Um, I mean, I know you're out there playing a physical sport, but I don't know. That's not really cute of you. Also, doesn't this one have fur? How are you getting sunburned? Don't, don't animals only have sweat glands and then like pads of their feet? Don't question it. Don't question it. <laughs> so anyway, that's Altidore. I don't like this man um, because this armor looks like you're about to pop and it's not cute. Um, and I'm not a big fan of Altidore to begin with. So I'm already kind of meh on this. Also, you guys have a Mincy as your team captain. Not playing favorites, but nobody else volunteered. <laughs> okay. Also, this is scary. Look at this shit. This is like sleep demon stuff. I'm not I'm not a big fan of this foot hand situation going on and you look like you're about to beat somebody up. Chill out, my man. It's literally just a ball game. Um apparently their formation is 2 plus 2, but I count 5 people, so maybe my math is wrong. <laughs> I don't know what this means. <laughs> but anyway, um I like that it says go sons. You know, there are no daughters on the team, but as you do. Apparently there used to be, but they kicked them off. Um, so apparently this is old players that used to be on the team that are not on there anymore. Which makes me sad because all of these people look like overly aggressive. And you guys look kind of sweet, so I guess they just bullied you off the team. Whatever. Um, according to this, they have not placed super well um, in final ones. So I don't know what round one means. <laughs> did you get first? What does this mean? Or did you get kicked out in round one? I don't know what that means. Um, apparently the only year they did great was in 2013 and 2021. So interesting. Interesting. Okay. Uh, their colors are also like the like orange and yellow. Eh, I'm not a fan. I'm not a fan. Not a fan. Um, okay. So we're starting off week. Love that. Um, so Bright Veil's next. Um, where the fuck is it? Okay. <laughs> I was like, where's the team? Oh, what's that? And, well, hang on. Sometimes being a lower tier contender can do you a world of good. Team Brightvale is a case in point. As the underdogs, and y'all ain't got no dogs on your team, of the tournament, Brightvale has never had to face the restricting pressure of expectations riding on them. What the team lacks in capability, it makes up for with the will to better their performance. Okay mood they even went as far as creating their own unique training regiment okay the land of bright bell's very own king hagen i don't know how long i said <laughs> had a top tier training center built where the high high rank knights of the castle came and mocked the team's tactical what mocked them okay procedures a few of the unique drills including sword training against dummies Rumor has it that some of the dummies were wearing Meridel team gear. What the fuck? <laughs> okay. Is Neopets not a game for kids anymore? I guess not. Okay. Okay. As you do. This, this, okay. I don't like these people. <laughs> I don't like these people. These people are weird and they bully. Um, also, this guy's way too cocky for his own good. Not a fan. Um... Where are you guys? Why did you guys get kicked off? Interesting. Do you know the lore of these Altador Cups? Like I said, I don't know anything about these teams. Um, I'm not a fan of this one either. I love green. Green is my favorite color, but I don't know. Your guys' outfits are really ugly. <laughs> Probably not the best thing to base it off of, but mm, sorry. I kind of don't want to look at you every single day. <laughs> As you do. Um, also, I don't know what's going on here with this mess, but I fucking hate it. And you're really gross. It looks like, oh gosh, is it the Goonies that I'm thinking of? That weird baby thing from that? I don't like it. I don't like it. Um, okay, well, Bright Veil, not a fan so far. Absent? You guys just didn't even show up? 
Okay, that's rude. Um, it looks like they placed okay, I guess. Typically an 11th. Um, okay, well, mm, mm, not good. Um, so, D Dacardia. D D okay, so Dragonair. <laughs> so, this is from the mobile game. And I'm wondering if they added this team because they want more people to play the mobile game. If you haven't, if you haven't played it, um, it's okay. I'm not a fan. I, I have been playing it every single day, though. <laughs> I love how I say that. I'm not a fan, but I play it every day. What is happening? So you can get actual, like, if you have Neopass, you have to have Neopass for this, which I haven't really seen any other benefits to have Neopass other than being able to get, like, I don't know, like 20,000 Neo points a day from this. It's, eh. if you don't want to sign up for it, I don't feel like it's, it's something that's really going to push you, you know? Um, but I've been playing it every day just for the Neo points. I got through the story in like a day and a half and that's without using like any power-ups or anything. So they said they're working on more story at this point, but I don't know. I'm not attached to any of the characters. It's not, it's not got anything other than the free Neo points drawing me in. So I'm already not a fan of this team, but let's, let's hear them out. Let's hear them out. Their colors are cute. So they've got this like purple and like teal situation. So I kind of like those colors. That's kind of cute. That's kind of cute. Let's, let's, let's see what you're on. Let's see what you're on. Is everybody painted striped? That's not, that's not right. Right. Can I not see what y'all are painted? It kind of looks like they're painted that like striped, right? Mm, okay, whatever. Um, Dakardia has been yearning all right, to make it to the Altador Cup since year 24. Their first obstacle came with, oh yeah, you remember the storm? <laughs> Do you remember the storm? Oh my gosh, the storm of 2023. So if you don't remember last year, I can't remember what event it was, but some event was gonna happen and then and they like were not TNT was not ready for it to happen or launch on the site. So they said there's a storm. <laughs> I love that. I love that. As silly and as stupid as that is, that is so Neopets and I fucking love it. It's a great reason <laughs> to delay it. So that happened, if you don't remember. Um, anyway, uh, so the storm th tore through their hometown and wrecked everything in its path. The team gave up their spot in the cup to stay around to help rebuild their once beautiful land and give aid to fa family and friends in their spare time. They continued to train so that they could make it to the cup in the following year, year 25, this year. However, another problem arrived. Oh wait, was that last year? I don't know. It doesn't matter. Um, however, another problem arrived when time came for the year 25 cup, when their team captain Tyra Tamania, okay, injured herself while helping rebuild houses. Despite her urging the team to replace her and go on without her, they refused, saying they can't dream of going on without their team captain. Despite their perilous journeys, Dakardia has finally made it to their first cup, year 26, and they are ready to show Neopia what they can do. Okay. So I got all my dates wrong. It doesn't matter. I'm always fucking up dates. <laughs> I remember the events, not the time frames. Okay. Cute. Love that. Um, so they're bonded. I love that. Okay. Um, I do like that there's uh, a couple of girls on this team. There's only been like, there was only one girl, I think, on the Bright Veil team. So that's fun. That's fun. I love that. Um, I hate this. I really hate this. Um, <laughs> this is gross, right? This is disgusting. I don't like that. Sorry, Jarek the Rock. <laughs> Oh my god, this is the guy in your high school that like went to like one wrestling tournament practice and now he thinks he's the hottest shit out there, you know? Not a fan, not a fan. Um, maybe we can uh, retire him <laughs> this year. <laughs> But I mean, for the most part, it's not bad. Um, I do, I do, I do like their cute little story and that they're bonded. They all seem like friends. Everybody else seems like, yeah, we're just going to get together to try to win something. But I don't know. They seem like they're bonded. So that's cute. Love that. Okay. Maybe. Not getting a hard maybe, but maybe. Um, so the Darrigan Citadel is next. Um, the Darrigan Cit Citadel words made its way up the ranks from Altador Cup 14 when they ended the competition in eighth place. Every year after, they moved higher and higher in the ranks till they finally took the gold trophy home during the Altador Cup, was that seven? Five, six, seven, yeah, uh, 17, which would be their first win since they blasted the competition back during Altador Cup 2. Oh, 
Um, what each year holds for the team going forward, nobody knows. But their vow to not fall to complacency and to ground their competition into the dirt, this team sure is one to beat. Okay, okay. So, there's a lot going on here. One, you guys have this hottie. Everybody else is not great looking on this team. <laughs> I'm going to be honest. But who are you? Who are you? Tandrak Shea? Okay. Okay. Injury prone? His weakness is scoring? Oh, no. He really hits people in the club like, did it hurt when you fell from the battle bus? My poor man. <laughs> Oh, no. I don't know. I think he's cute. Um, okay. Everybody else on this team is not really winning it for me, but um, okay. Okay, maybe we can talk. Um, only one player has been retired. Interesting. Um, and it looks like it looks like they don't have too bad of a track record because the only time they have like double digits in their standings was like last year's cup. So it doesn't seem bad. They seem pretty good. I think this is one of the more popular teams. I think this one um, and the fairy team are some of the most popular ones and the virtue pets, I think. Um, so I don't remember, but. Okay, okay. I do like the color scheme. I do like this color scheme. This like purple and red situation. Cute, cute. Love that. Um, who's next? Oh yeah, Fairyland. That's what it was. Um, yeah, I think I think Fairyland and like Haunted Woods are more like nostalgic from like you know your childhood. So I think that's probably why they're popular. But I don't know. Um, Fairyland has always been one of the lower ranked teams. Oh well. <laughs> get shit on, I guess. <laughs> Never having won a cup to this date. Their close taste to victory was during Altador Cup 11 when they placed fourth. Despite this, Fairyland has always been a favorite among fans, having a large following and being famous for their good sportsmanship. This team has always strived their best and adopted some extreme train dr training drills. Taking the advice of the team members from the Darrigan Citadel, Fairyland started holding practices right in the center of storms. What? D D <laughs> okay, hear me out. So, <laughs> what if, <laughs> what if this storm that overcame Dracardia was just like, you know, a normal storm? Maybe it was just like some rain and stuff, but instead Fairyland showed up and they're like, oh yeah, this is our chance. We're really going to train and get them out of the ranks, guys. And they just went and beat the shit out of people's houses. And so people thought it was a bad storm because they're inside and they're like, oh my God, listen to that hail. And instead it's just, what's your name? Kanoki <laughs> beating on your walls. <laughs> okay. Interesting. Um... Okay. Mm. Okay. <laughs> I, what the fuck? Valtanorius Rhea? Their goalkeeper explained that it was exciting to find themselves in the eye of the storm during their practices. I'm suspicious. Now I'm suspicious. Okay. Why are you guys doing this in the rain? Just go inside and like put an air mover on or something. Okay, whatever. The, the the colors are cute, very pastel. They do have they do have a fairy Vandegar, so I'm here for that. Um, there's there's a good amount of females on this team, which is fun too. Not that you know female and male balance matters, but I don't know. I kind of want to hang with the girls, you know. <laughs> so okay, um, I also don't know what's happening here with this, um, but it looks weird. I'm not a fan. Um, I guess that would make sense. Like normally if a uni was standing up on its hind legs, but I don't know, that's kind of scary. It looks weird. You look lumpy. I'm not a fan. Um, but they're all right. They look, they look okay. I do like, why do you, whoa, 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 wait a minute. Hang on, hang on, hang on. You've kicked four people out of your team. I thought they had good sportsmanship. Why did you it says left. So did these people just leave or did you kick them out? I mean, this one got beat up the hell. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. I'm wondering maybe if they're one of those people that's nice on the outside and mean on the inside. What do you think? What do you think? Am I just looking into this too much? Mm, mm, I don't know. It looks like they uh, do suck. <laughs> Real 
bad. Um, okay. Interesting. Interesting. Um, not a fan. Just because I don't trust them. I feel like something's going on. Something's up with these taters. I'm not a fan. I'm not a fan so far. Uh, Haunted Woods. Okay, I love the Haunted Woods. I love the Haunted Woods. It's one of my favorite worlds in Neopets. So I'm already, I guess, a little more apt to wanting to go to the Haunted Woods, but I'm also still not sure. So let's 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 look at them a little bit. Um, okay, y'all got a lot going on. Okay. Um, Haunted Woods started out as a very strong team, having been the winner of the first ever Altador Cup. Interesting. And usually coming in the top 10 from Altador Cup 2 through Altador Cup 9, then taking home the gold once again during Altador Cup 9. Huh. After this win, their ranks seemed to fall drastically, coming in dead last in the two preceding cups. Ooh. Okay. Is that kind of rude, though? You can't say dead last when you have zombies on your team. That seems insensitive. Despite their fallen ranks, Haunted Woods has been testing their resolve and skill to stay calm by training in a haunted house. That's lame as fuck. <laughs> really? Okay, whatever. The training regiment is so scary that every reporter that's gone in could not make it to the halfway mark, showing that the team Haunted Woods has a very high bravery meter. But you live there. You know? <laughs> you know? I don't know. That seems... Mm, mm, I don't trust. I don't trust. Maybe they're just putting on airs. I don't know. I don't know. Okay, well, interesting. I'm a little suspicious. I'm a little suspicious, but we'll, we'll keep going. Um, they do have a Kyrie. I don't like Kyries. I don't trust them. They seem sneaky. Um, so I don't know how I feel about that. Uh, the Mirka's cute. I do like the Mirka. This Drake is fucking badass. Brains Mordigan. Okay. Um, <laughs> okay. I kind of worry, though, about the logistics of, not that I'm trying to exclude anybody, but I'm just saying, if you have an undead person on your team that is sewn together, what happens if you go to pass them the ball and you pass it too hard and their arms fall off? Is that a foul or is that just foul? <sighs> Sorry. <laughs> anyway, I don't know. It seems kind of suspicious. Mm, mm. Um, okay. Okay. Um, why do you look weird? All right, then. That was rude. Sorry, my man. <laughs> okay, why are you guys kicked off the team? This is cute. I want the team with the little witch. He looks like he just beat the shit out of somebody behind a Waffle House. I'm glad you guys got rid of him. Um, okay. Okay, I, I'm i feeling okay about this team. I, I'm, I'm not a huge fan. I'm not sold. I have my suspicions, but I'm feeling okay. They are doing a little dog ass um, from, from their past cups, but okay. Maybe they can bring it around. Maybe. Pico Lake. <laughs> Man, I saw somebody too that was so pissed because they got the random event that Kiko Lake still try they stole something from them trying to go to the altar cup. It's like you're already there! <laughs> Why have you done this? Uh Kiko Lake, despite being somewhat of an underdog team, have many loyal followers and enemies. Darn you, Kiko Lake donations. Bless, thank you. They also aren't very strong when it comes to UU -U ball, but make up for it at being quite the team to beat in the support game, such as Make Some Noise, Slushy Slinger, and Shout Out Showdown. I know nothing of any of this. What? Okay, apparently there's support games. Despite the many trials and hurdles Kiko Lake has faced, they promise to make up for bad performances in previous cups for their fans and have first place in their side at, at all times. They took this promise very seriously as many Neopians caught glimpses of Kiko Lake running insane training drills in their homeland's lake, with which many believed to be their new coach. What? With what many believed to be? Oh, okay, 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 I see. <laughs> The lake's not their coach. It's some other person. Got it. Um, okay. Wow. Um, don't like this. Um, okay. <laughs> what is this? What the fuck is that? Oh my god. Why is he giving me the fuck me eyes? I don't... <laughs> okay. Okay, whatever. Whatever. Um... I'm not a fan. 
Not only is it because I hate Kikos, they don't make any sense. Are they like, do they have invisible legs? Do they defy gravity? I don't know. Not a fan. Um, you literally look like you're crying. It looks like all three of these people just beat the shit out of you. And then you're kind of like the middle ground and you're like sort of bullying just to stay out of the limelight, right? Um, oh, you're the only female they're bullying, you poor thing. Um, I, I'm suspicious of your wood pads. Um, okay, as you do, love that. Um, your color scheme is colors. <laughs> it's like shit and shit, right? Like, it, it just it just looks like your day after Taco Bell. I'm not a fan. I'm not a fan. I hate Kiko Lake, man. They suck. Um, okay, so next one is Croc Island. So if you don't know, which how would you know? Um, somebody really nice it was so sweet they sent me a message and they wanted me to join their guild and it was so sweet and it's like they they're like big on like crocs i mean they don't care you know you, you can have whatever um but they're big things like crocs i'm still not sold on crocs one because i can't say it right <laughs> but two i don't know i'm not a big like dragon lizard fan you know um so i'm not sold on it yet uh but let's 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 see what they they didn't give you guys a background Damn, that's harsh. <laughs> okay. Um, Clark Island spends most of their time at sea training in harsh environments out in the water. What is with everybody training in these environments? What are they doing to you during this sport? This doesn't seem legal. Like, what is going on? Ugh. They would even go as far as to reject supplies and help any sailors or passerby ships because a pirate needs to know how to survive through any type of situation. What? I mean, it's good they're helping people that are going by, but, like, they're dying and they won't accept, like, hardtack from anybody? Okay. <laughs> okay. They insist that with all their extensive training, they've reached peak performance and plan to fight their way to the top. Fight? Not like, you guys aren't killing people, right? This, is this a thing? <laughs> Okay, having only placed outside of the top 10 once in the entire history of the Altador Cup, Clark Island is a powerhouse of a team with a high success rate, being strong at, this has to be UU Ball, right? Um, and having a huge fan base, they're quite the challenger. Okay, okay, interesting, interesting. I do like the pirate aesthetic. That's very cute. I'm very much here for it. Um, so I support that a lot. Um, and we have, a, we have a pretty balanced team. Three females, one, two males. Okay, okay. Clutch. Get out of here, clutch. <laughs> oh, no. Okay, okay. Interesting, interesting. Um, okay. I'm not against it. I'm not against it. I, I support this. Um, I mean, you didn't... You guys, you guys are placing pretty good. I don't feel like this is too bad, right? Like, this is pretty good. Okay. Okay, I'll, I'll support Clark Island. Okay, we got that. We got that. That's okay. That's okay. So, so far, I think my favorites would be like Haunted Woods and Clark Island. Dakaria and like Derek and Citadel, I'm fine with. Everybody else, okay. Um, okay, so let's go to Crulador. Ain't how it said. Um, I like the color scheme. I do like this color scheme. This is very cute. Yo. Okay. Um. Mm. Maybe we do go Cruelador. Um, oh, and you're on the Avatar? Fuck. Oh, uh, that's unfair. <laughs> that's unfair. You can't do this. What is your name? Andrew the Captain? Oh, damn it. Okay, okay. You can't you can't hit me with the hot ass Gnorbu and really be like, yeah, the rest of our team is mid. We got a Grundo with his fucking <gasps> He doesn't have his toes out. Okay, maybe they get a few points. Okay, do we support Cruelador? Mm, mm. Okay, many supporters of Cruelador had started to lose their vigor till Moto Day. What? What the fuck is this? Um, uh, Motor Day. What? Like bike week? What? Cruelador's very own right forward told their fans to shove their tears where the sun don't shine. Oh, honey. Okay. Okay, in a rough but strangely inspiring way? What? Okay, he stated that Cruelador would be back in top ranks in no time, planning to shine brighter than the sun. But you told me to put them where it don't shine. 
Okay. This promise came to fruition when they made it back to the top and placed second during Altidore Cup 18. Krugador shoots for the moon and stays there. But you just set the sun. They train in the cold, harsh... What is... Oh, my God. With the environments... Oh, harsh environment of outer space, gearing up with those spacesuits and you, you ball gear. They go one on one with each other, holding nothing back. Okay, okay, interesting. I don't know what this face is. <laughs> he looks like you didn't really invite him until the last minute, and he's not happy about it. Everybody else is just okay, okay, um, okay. I feel like this is absent. Ooh, what happened? What happened? Um, this is pretty impressive. I feel like this is pretty impressive. Oh shit. We should have been looking at this on the Neopets site too. Shouldn't we? Hmm. Let's catch up real fast. Um, okay. So what is, what does Altador say on here? Um, oops, I clicked out of it. Um, okay. Um, oh, so you guys have a lot of information on here. Okay, interesting. Well, shit. <laughs> okay, well, let's pause there and go back. Um, Team Altador, the grand host of the glorious competition, bears the... Oh, okay, so this is pretty much the same thing. Okay, it's just it just has nicer colors. Okay, got it. Um, still, still not a fan. Still not a fan. Um, what is this face? What is this face? Oh, I hate it. Oh, I hate it. Okay, okay. So this seems like the same information. Why, why can they... They gave everybody else a zoom in but you? Okay. As you do. As you do. Um, alright. Let's see. My man. <laughs> My man. Okay. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. Um, I don't trust. I just don't trust. I don't trust Fairyland. I feel like they got something going on, right? Something's happening with that. Mm. Mm. Um, okay. There's this one plus three for their UU ball formation. I don't know what that means. I don't know what that means. I don't think it matters. I don't think it matters. Kiko Lake sucks. Like, they didn't even put you all the way in frame. That says a lot, my man. You look like you're gasping for air. <laughs> what is happening here? Okay. As you do. As you do. Um, I, I'm pretty okay with Clark. I'm, I'm okay with that. Um, and then, God, just look at that. Look at that. Ooh. Um, okay, well... Okay, so that that's that. So next is the Lost Desert. Um, let's 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 look at it on the Daily Neopets. <laughs> I like looking at it on here better. Um, okay, so what is this? What you have a song? D Does anybody else have a song? Did I just miss it? What? There's no way. Does anybody else have a song? Are you kidding me? Why do you have a song? What is this? What is this? Hang on. You don't have a song. You don't have a song. You definitely, you don't even have an avatar. Um, you don't have a song. I think you have an avatar somewhere, but it's not on here. Um, you don't have one. You don't have one. Ugh, thank God you don't have one. Um, you don't have one. What? Why do you have a song? Okay, well, I'm gonna download this. Oh God. Okay. Uh, well, I'm gonna download this. <laughs> okay, I got it downloaded. Um, <laughs> what a mess. Um, okay, well, let's let's listen to this together again. I hope this. Can you imagine if this video gets YMCA'd for this? Okay, well, let's check it out. Okay, I'm gonna call it there for the song. Um, <laughs> apparently that's something you can download. <laughs> um, okay, okay. I was not expecting that, but that um, very much is a, as the kids say, bop, not kids bop. <laughs> we ride the bus. Uh, it is not that same, uh, no. Okay, okay. So, am, <laughs> am I swayed to one team by a song? <laughs> is it that easy to win me over? Maybe, maybe. That's kind of sick. I haven't seen anybody else have a song. 
That's kind of extra. Okay. Okay. Her adding music to her PowerPoints. I see you. I see you. Okay. Let's see. Let's see what you, let's see what you got to say for yourself. Lost, a team Lost Desert is a high profile team and irres, irrespective, what? Of how it, I don't know what that means. Of how it fares. It always considered, it is always considered one of the top contenders for the Altador Cup trophy. However, the team's best performances have been in Altador Cup 2, or 3, and 4, and there hasn't been much to write home about since. Ooh. With, with talks about the teams playing five being wait 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 what what with talks about the teams playing five being made to go through the rigorous training with Altador Cup twelve being the year that broke the drought for them. Well, Altador, what the fuck? Oh my god, I, my brain just shut off. Wait, let's go to the website. Let's go to the website. Okay, this is totally different. Okay. Tempered by the scorching desert sun, Team Lost Desert's resilience is undeniable. These disciplined strategists are a force to be reckoned with, wearing down their opponents with patience and cunning while they slowly but surely take control of the game. They adore the fans and the fans adore them. They often hit the ground running and will do anything it takes to win and leave their opponents in the dust. Okay, interesting. Interesting. Um, all right then. All right then. Why does your cup history look different? What is what is up with this page? <laughs> what is up with the Lost Deserts page on here? Okay. Um, I mean, it, they don't look too bad, I guess. It doesn't look terrible. Um, they they want enough, I guess. I'm not a fan of the, the colors. I'm not a huge Lost Desert person. I don't know what's going on here. Um, you, got a, you got a good balance, I guess, of players. So I'm here for that. You do have a walkie. So, you know, that grants you just a smidgen. Of, of of niceness but you have a cup you have a cup song you have a song what nobody else has a song okay well you get you get a little bit of bump because you got a song how the fuck did you get a song um okay maraqua they got a song too <sighs> let's download it all right let's see So if you don't know this about me, <laughs> in like middle school and high school, I was the biggest emo kid. So I used to listen to like metal and I mean, still do, you know, once you hit like, I've, I've always felt like when I was younger, like, you know, you'll grow up and like things will change. I still sit here and listen to My Chemical Romance and shit. <laughs> Nothing has changed. Um, so I'm kind of a fan of their music from that. Who made these songs? They're great. I don't know who made these, but they're great. Um, okay. Interesting. Interesting. Um, I feel like this description is old though. What the fuck is this? Oh, I hate that. Um, okay, let's uh let's let's check them out on the actual like website instead. Um okay, interesting. Making waves and netting wins. Ugh. Team Morocco is a rising tide that cannot be stopped. After steadily climbing the ranks year after year, they made a huge splash last year by snagging a third place finish. These aquatic athletes are a true team who will swim through the challenges or sink altogether. Watch out, other teams. Team Morocco's fluid execution will surely give you a headache. Don't. 
don't bring fluids into this, my man. Please. <laughs> Please. Okay. Okay. How did you guys, how did you have, how have you done? Um, oh, wow. They've done, they done not bad. Not bad. Um, they didn't do great here or here, but for the most part, it looks like they did okay. I'm, I like the color scheme. The color seems cute. I don't like this. I don't know what this is and I don't like it. Um, you guys have a Kiko on your team, which upsets me. I don't like that. Um, Elon, the black hole. You are going to be banned from every buffet within 10 miles. What are you talking about? Okay. As you do. As you do. Um, okay. I don't see anybody kicked off the team. Huh. Okay. No girls. That's okay, though. <laughs> That's okay. Oh, okay. Okay. You have... Why, why do half these teams have a song? Where did this come from? Why is Neopets not talking about this? Let's download that. Y'all, I'm going to get really pissed off if I get a fucking virus from downloading Neopets songs. Do you know how mad I'll be? <laughs> Do you know how mad I'll be? <laughs> okay, that one didn't want to download. Okay, I think I got it now. Let's see. Let's let's listen to, let's listen to this um and see how hard this one's going to go. I don't I don't feel like this is going to go hard, as hard as Morocco. There's no way. There's no way, right? Okay, I'm calling that one there. Um, we, we love an investigation discovery. Um, <laughs> okay, okay, I can definitely feel the Meridel in that. So that, one, that one's pretty good. Um, what the fuck? That was pretty banging too. Who made this music? Mountains of Gold? It's called Mountains... It's got a SoundCloud. <laughs> Whatever. Whatever. Okay. That's a thing. I need to find out how many other people have a song. Have a song. This is this is just nuts. I didn't know this was a thing. Um, hark! The Herald Angels Sing... Nope. With burning termination and a legacy to uphold... Legacy, sure. Um, Team Meridel charges onto the field. These noble Neopets may have a heated history with Bright Vale, but their true passion lies in bringing glory to their kingdom. So they hate it, but they want to bring it glory? What? Okay. Victory is indeed sweet, but for those noble Neopets, honor reigns supreme. Their fair plays may not always guarantee wins, but they do they do garner the respect and admiration of the rivals. Okay, okay, I, I, I can't read it. <laughs> you can't read, guys. Um, so I did see on the actual, like, Neopets subreddit that apparently Ethel Bortz is, like, 100 years old and they're still forcing her to play Yu Yu Ball. How good is the insurance in Neopia? Just asking for a friend. <laughs> and also they have this, they have this gross looking Jub Jub and he's a goalkeeper? He's so tiny, look at him. What's he gonna do? Okay, okay, um, okay, interesting. I'm not a huge fan of the Meridel colors. I'm not a huge fan of Meridel in general. Um, it looks like they've done pretty good though at, at pretty much all the cups. It looks like 11th and 10th is their lowest, which is kind of crazy. Okay, okay, not bad, but I'm still not a fan. You have a song, but it's not as good as everybody else's song. You know, you know, you have a song too? Why do only half of you have a song? Okay, okay. All right, let's give this a listen.
Okay, okay. I, I definitely feel the like the Weezer a little bit in that, right? <laughs> so, okay, that's not bad. That's not bad. I don't feel like that represents Moltara a lot. That doesn't feel very Moltara to me. I mean, to be fair, the Morocco one didn't feel Morocco either. <laughs> So far, the Lost Desert and the Mirandelle ones, I feel like fit their teams. Th these are not bad songs. I just don't feel like they fit the teams. They're weird as fuck that they have songs, though. Why is Neil Pets not talking about this? Do they not own the rights to this anymore? Like, is this just old stuff that the Daily Neil Pets have? What's the deal with? Did you know this? I didn't know this going into it. I didn't even look at these pages. <laughs> I just looked at the top and I was like, good enough. Oh no, it looks like they're not doing great. Um, they have placed very low every year that they've participated. Um, their colors are also just okay to me. Let's let's look at your information on the actual Neopet site. Um, coming in hot from the sixth place last year, Team Moltara is ready to erupt. These fiery underdogs burn with passion for the game, which is only matched by their explosive play style that is truly a sight to behold. This year, Team Moltara is ready to melt the competition, prove to everybody that even the underdogs can burn bright enough to win the Altador Cup. Okay, I'm a big fan of your uh, captain. Really cute. Uh, big fan of you too. You're cute. Um... Okay, <laughs> okay. <laughs> I can't just pick a team because it's got hotties on it, right? No pun intended, but <laughs> you know what I mean. I can't do that. That's illegal, right? I feel like that's illegal. Okay, Moltar's not bad. Um, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not feeling them as much as some of the others, but they're not bad. You have a song too. Why? All right. When I downloaded that, I got an ad for Norton. <laughs> You think I'm just downloading viruses onto this computer? <laughs> you imagine? Why did your computer get bricked? Because I downloaded fucking Neopets Altador Cup songs. <laughs> oh, it's so stupid. Okay, well let's uh, let's listen to Mystery Island's song and let's let's see. Call that one there. That one's fucking weird. <laughs> I don't like that one. I don't like that one at all. <laughs> I'm not a big fan. That doesn't scream Mystery Island. And also, you're the moon and the sun. Shouldn't that be like the other people that kept talking about that? Mm. Mm. Also, what is happening here? What is this mess of people? Okay. Okay. As you do. Let's um. Let's 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 check you guys out. Okay. Okay. While they may live and train in a beautiful oasis, this team can handle the toughest, toughest of situations. And while last year's low ranking may be tough on some, these determined, determined athletes are on the rise, fueled by their relentless work ethic and never-say-die attitude. Don't blink. Team Mystery Island might just be the surprise that the Altador Cup needs. You didn't say anything about the moon and the sun. Where's your song? Um, okay. Okay. Um. Oh, you're a cute. God damn it. <laughs> Every time, every time, this is just gonna, this is just gonna turn into who's got the hotties? <laughs> oh no, I like you, and you don't have any weaknesses. You don't have any strengths, but you don't have any weaknesses. Just saying, just saying. They just didn't listen. I think. <laughs> I think they're on here. Um, your weakness is tackling. Okay, okay, okay. Interesting, interesting. Um, okay. Uh, mm, mm. uh, you've not done crazy good, but not crazy bad either. You've done okay. I feel like this is just an okay team, right? Um, the colors aren't bad. Uh, I'm, I'm not. I'm okay with the colors. Um, I don't. I don't like your song. I can't base it off a song because I already got a song. But if you have a song, I feel like you're putting extra your foot forward. You know? Okay. Okay, well, interesting, interesting. Oh my God, you better not have a song. Oh Jesus Christ, Rue Island has a song. This is gonna be so bad. This is gonna be so bad. Why are these all hosted on Mediafire? <laughs> what is this? 
Okay. Okay. Let's uh let's get Rue Island pulled up here and let's uh let's see what they've got going. I don't I I don't I don't have any confidence in this. Okay, I'm gonna cut that. <laughs> I was not expecting that to be that good. I was not expecting that at all. Oh my gosh, that's great. I want that on my Spotify playlist. <laughs> that was great. Okay, I don't, I don't, I don't know who did all this music, but kudos to you. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, okay, interesting interesting uh let's see what you guys got going on uh the rue island r roster jiggle jiggles don't don't choose a different adjective don't put jiggles please <laughs> please <laughs> into the arena with a smile and a hop did you know they are the only ones sporting bells on their vibrant uniforms oh jesus christ can you imagine can you imagine how annoying that's gonna be on the fucking field Maybe we don't support them. Maybe we don't support this. Oh my God. Well, they wouldn't have it any other way. Shit. While the competition is fierce, their in infectious energy makes them an instant fan favorites. Despite this happy-go-lucky vibe, they're actually pretty serious contenders. Goes to show you can enjoy the game while being good at it. Okay, okay. Squeaky, your name is Squeaky. I thought they said your strength was gardening. <laughs> And I was like, that's really cute. <laughs> okay, you're cute. Okay, okay. Ooh, you're cute too. Okay, okay. Mm, mm, okay. Um, maybe, mm, maybe, mm, maybe we do support Rue Island. Okay, where have you placed? Damn, okay. You, you've, you've been very much a mixture, but y'all were pulling it out in the beginning. Um, okay. The colors are Christmas, but... Okay, okay, I, I'm not against Rue Island now. I'm not against Rue Island. Um, you have a song too? What? I, I literally don't, I did not know this. All right, okay, let's see. Okay. Okay. We'll, we'll cut it there. Um, okay. I, <laughs> not a fan. Um, that's a lot of noise. That, that was, I feel like that was kind of extra, right? I mean, I guess that makes sense. Like I don't, I don't watch wrestling and stuff, but like that, that feels very much like a, something that a wrestler walk out to, right? So, okay. Um, all right. <laughs> Let's, uh, let's, let's look a little bit more about you. Um, Team Shenku's performance speaks louder than their words, and its recent impressive fifth place finish speaks volumes. They train harder than any team, but they're not just settling for good. They have a legion of dedicated fans cheering them on, and 
the pressure to come out of, on top continues to grow. This year, they're determined to give it their all, and they've got words, and prove that their dedication and confidence are the perfect recipe for becoming champions. Okay. Fun. Ooh, who are you? Oh, okay. Um, oh, man. What is with all the hot Gnorboos? <laughs> Why? Nail pets. Dom, why have you done this? <laughs> oh, no. Okay. 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 Well, literally everybody on your team is pretty cute. I actually support this Grundo. Weakness dirty play? Not her in the Christian Minecraft server. Okay. We love her. <laughs> okay. Okay. Mmm. Mmm. I'm not a fan of your song, but your team, pretty cute. Support that. Um, nah, you're like, I feel like you're kind of lower tier with, you didn't even participate in the first cup. What the fuck? Um, I feel like you're kind of lower tier. Not, not, mm, mm, okay, okay. I'm not a huge fan of the colors. I'm not a big fan of like red mustard, whatever this is. Um, okay, okay. I'm not against it. I'm not against it, but I'm not a fan. Um, okay, so we got Terror Mountain. Um, you, I, I don't, I'm, I'm so confused why some of these teams have songs and the others don't. Like, you would think Haunted Woods and Berryland would have a song, but they don't. Okay, well, all right, let's see. Okay, this is just a Christmas song. <laughs> I get it. I get it. It's Terror Mountain. I get it. But that's just a Christmas song. Um, okay. Okay. Meh. Meh. Not, not, meh. Meh. Not a fan. Not a fan of your song. Um, okay. Let, let's, let, let's look at your team. Let's look at your team. Um, it's been a few seasons since Terror Mountain has held the first place trophy. Okay, so you've been first before. Okay. Hunger burns bright in their eyes. All right. And they're training relentlessly to claim glory. You ain't talking about the places you're training, though. Dave with a, <laughs> a slash in it. <laughs> oh, keep being you, Neopus. <laughs> Endured the coldest shoulder from other teams, but their unthawed determination only pushes them harder. This time, Terror Mountain is ready to unleash a flurry of, I read this as furry in my head, of upsets and show everyone that even if it comes down to a snowball's chance, they'll give everything they've got. Okay. Okay. Your captain's cute. Okay. She's cute. I'm here for that. Um... I'm not a big fan of everybody else. I, I do like that it's kind of balanced. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, y'all are all right, I guess. Kind of lower tier, I feel like, right? I feel like lower tier. It's not bad. Um, your colors are okay. Like, just teal and white. That's okay. I'm not really blown away by this. I feel like it's just okay. Just okay. 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 Um, we got Tyrania, um, who also has a song all right low key i'm a little afraid of this song i'm very scared that this is going to be something insanely loud <laughs> oh my gosh okay Okay, Halo. Okay. <laughs> I see you. All right. Um, eh, eh, it's all right. It, it's, it's one of those songs that I feel like makes sense as a team's like 
they're coming out to it. But like, why is somebody breathing in it? Do you do you hear the breathing? Why? Mm, mm, it sounds weird. It sounds weird. Not a fan. Mm, mm. Um, he winners curse. Got it. Um, okay, so let's let's look you guys up over here. Um, Team Tyrania pounds through the field with determined hearts in search of glory, forged in the in the unforging what unforgiven <laughs> forged in the unforging. <laughs> Forged in the unforgiven valleys of their homestead, they're here to over overcome all odds. But then you do three plus one. Don't start. Uh, although their cheering section might be small, their loyal fans roar with fero ferocious enthusiasm that sends tremors through the arena. This alone is enough to fuel their players as they erupt into the Neopian sports scene and pulverize their opponents. Okay. What's happening here? What's going on with you? Um, all right. Um, I thought this was like huge ass knockers. <laughs> I was about to be like, damn. <laughs> okay. Um, well, that's not helping my support at all. Um, okay. Eh. Eh. Not a fan. Not a fan. I don't really like the Flintstones. Not a fan. Um, it doesn't seem like you've placed amazing. You did well for a few years. Um, but, mm, mm, okay. And I'm not a fan of your colors. Dirt. I don't, I don't need colors of pumpkin pie. Like, eh, eh. Okay, okay. The last team, Virtue Pets, has a song, of course. If this is just not straight electronica, like, I'm gonna be so upset. Like, <laughs> you are literally being handed this. Please. Okay, okay, <laughs> she was breaking it down with that midi. Okay, okay, that that's a very good one. That's a very good one. They did a really good job. I, I feel I feel like that. I feel like that represents them. Okay, good job, good job. That one's cute. I like that. Um, let's uh, let's 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 look at their information on the website. Um, let's beam it up. Ugh. For the reigning champion, the champions. Okay, Team Virtue Pets blast back into action to defend their crown. These, I thought they said garlic. Uh, Galactic gladiators. Nope. Uh, are two-time champions for a reason. They've got the strategies, the tech, and more importantly, discipline to prove it. However, they're not letting the success of last year get into their heads just yet. There's no rest for the wired. Come on, man. So Virtue Pets aims to wrap the past competition and claim another Altador Cup victory. Okay, okay. Um, let's let's look at. Okay. Mmm. Mmm. Oh. Okay. Well. <laughs> this. This is cheating. This is cheating. You have a robot Tuskus Kakani and a robot Walkie. That's cheating. Those are like the cutest Neopets ever. That's cheating. And your Psy Bunny's really cute. You ain't bad. Your Zwee Talks ain't bad. I hate this. But your Zwee Talk ain't bad. Okay. Okay. Well, mm, you're cheating with that, as you do. Um, okay. They uh, did really bad. <laughs> they did really bad some years and really good others. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. Um, I'm not a huge fan of their colors. Silver and red. I mean, it's all right, I guess. But okay. Okay, why the fuck do half of you have songs and you other ones don't? What? Hang on, let me Google this, because I wonder if anybody else has a song. Okay, so... <laughs> based on this post that I found from 2012... Almost everybody has one. Except, except for the new team, obviously. I'm so confused now. <laughs> I'm so confused, because are these really the songs? Are these really their songs? Like, 
these these are real songs that like are performed by other artists. Did Neopets license these? I'm very confused. I'll link the thread that I'm looking at below. Um, I don't feel like going through all of them. This is a lot because I'm, I'm it's taking a lot to like look all these up. But I, I'm so confused. Can you tell me? <laughs> can you please tell me if this is real? Cause I, I don't know. Um, okay. Interesting. Interesting. Well, let's, um, it's, <laughs> it's been far too long on a video that should be very small. Um, okay. So from here, who do you think I should go with? <laughs> You've heard my thoughts on everybody. Actually, let's look at the prize shop real fast. Um, I think the prize shop, shop is the same regardless of who you go with. Um, but still, it would be nice to kind of look at it. Um, it is, what the fuck? <gasps> they have little, look how cute that is. Oh, you can see what it looks like before you get it. Oh, I love that. Oh, that's great. Okay, that's cute. I don't know when Neopets added that, but that's very cute. Oh, look, that's cute. They, they try to like match their colors. Isn't that fun? Oh, that's so fun. They did a good job with that. I don't know who did that, but they did a great job with that. Um, okay. Mm, okay. Um, <laughs> I love that that just barely looks like it fits you. That's such a mess. Why? Why? Okay. <laughs> Look how far off to the side that thing is. Why is it so far away? <laughs> Do you hate it? What is the deal? Oh no! <laughs> Why are you so low res? <laughs> okay, okay. Um, all right, so that's the prize shop. Uh, anyway, so what do you guys think from here? Who do you think I should go with? Uh, let me know down below. I don't know how I'm gonna do this. I don't know if I'll do it as a poll. I'll probably do it in the poll as a poll in the community tab. Um, I don't know how to do YouTube, so I'll figure it out. Um, but yeah, please, please tell me your thoughts on these songs. What is the deal with this? They have songs? Are, are these real songs? Do you know all the songs? Is this, is this post that I found true? <laughs> are these really their songs? So please let me know. But thank you. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. Let me know who you're going with too. Um, so that way I know who to be mad at and not be friends with. No, I'm kidding with you. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm, I'm very curious because I don't, I, I kind of see in the Discord, like the more popular teams, but it seems like a lot of people just go with them because that's who they went with as a kid or like they like the color schemes. Again, it doesn't matter. So you can go with whoever, but it's still really interesting. I think it's really interesting because I've never participated in Algebra Cup. This will be my first one. So I'm really excited. Um, so let me know what you think. Please tell me what team to join before the deadline. <laughs> I know it's my fault for putting this video out too late, but whatever. <laughs> But anyway, thank you so much. Thank you for hanging out with me. I hope you have a good day and um, bye. <laughs>